All right, what's going on guys? Welcome to my first video of 2020. We're starting off hot, man. I'm pretty excited for this one. So yesterday, some pretty important stuff went down in the world. Now, I'm not really big into politics myself, and that's not really something that we discuss on this channel. And plus, I don't want to spread any wrong information because I haven't really looked into it that much personally, so I don't want to say anything that's wrong. But basically, long story short, we might be looking at the possibility of a World War III. Obviously, that's a pretty severe outcome, but the possibility of war, from what I understand, you know, from doing a little bit of research, is pretty real. But as you guys know, Twitter is not the place for serious discussions, okay? So Twitter just went absolutely crazy in reaction to this news with World War III memes. Honestly, if I'm keeping it real, it was one of the best nights that I've ever seen on Twitter. Aside from the fact that, you know, we might be facing a war pretty soon, which is unfortunate. But the tweets were just hilarious, man. It was one of the funniest nights I've ever had on Twitter. So, of course, I had to hop in there, you know, get in on that. Maybe I'll put some of my my tweets up on the screen for those of you that don't use Twitter which by the way you should all right you should make a Twitter I highly recommend it but anyways my personal favorite tweet of the night and the topic for this video was this interaction that I had with a very special person but we'll come back to her in a second basically I was just kind of trolling you know the thought process was you know hey World War 3 coming up you may as well just shoot your shot now you know what I mean you got nothing to lose I I kind of pulled up from deep on this one all right this was like a half court shot i really didn't expect much with this one so it all started with this tweet right here i can't wait to have babies i'm gonna secure this bag then find me an italian daddy to breed me now as you can see that tweet was sent by the one and only semen demon aka Kimmy Granger. I don't think that's her real name, but that's probably the name that sounds familiar to you. I'll put some pictures up on the screen. You guys probably recognize her, you know, although maybe not from these angles, but she is an actress, I guess you could say, an actress that, you know, you might only find on the internet on very specific websites. Now, personally, I've seen quite a lot of her work on the hub. I'm a big fan, you know, I got to admit. The best way to describe it is that she has a real passion for meat okay you know what I mean like it really shows in her work because sometimes even if the girl be looking real good they just aren't like a great performer you know and it kind of just ruins the video right you know but Kimmy has really mastered her craft so anyways I saw this tweet and I was like you know what let me just take a shot here. You know, I'm just going to throw something out there. Nothing too crazy. See what happens. You know, like I said, you never know, right? So I responded to this tweet with, hi, I work at Olive Garden. Like I said, nothing too crazy. You know, she said she was looking for an Italian daddy. I don't happen to meet those qualifications, but I do be putting in that work on the nine to five at Olive Garden. You know what I mean? You know, maybe that can count for something. You know, that was the angle. I was just testing the waters, you know, just to see. I had a couple different options of where I could go with this, you know. I, I could have made like a breadstick joke or like a meatball joke or, you know, something like that. There was some decent options to branch off of this with, right? So anyways, she actually responded to this and she said, Hi, I work at Whore. Wow, okay, so this did catch me off guard a little bit. You know, it was quite straightforward, which I do appreciate. So I was like, you know what? I got to match this energy. You know, I got to come back strong. I can't play no games, you know what I mean? So I hit her with this. World War Three is about to start, so I'm just going to get to the point. Would you like to have sex with me? You know, sometimes you just got to go for it, man. I mean, what's the worst that could happen here, right? She says no. Okay, well, I mean, I guess we're back to exactly where we started, you know? Nothing really changed. Here's where things started to take a turn, right? When I said this, I was pretty much expecting a no. I mean, of course, right? You know, I was thinking, like, worst case scenario, she tries to, like, roast me or something. Like, shit, we're going to have to get into it, right? You know what I mean? That, that was what I was preparing for. But to my surprise, she actually responded with this. Ugh, 
fine. Where are you at? Now, I'm pretty sure I had a small stroke when I first read that because I, I really just couldn't believe what she said. You know what I mean? Like, I really was preparing for the worst, but this was the one out of a hundred times where this situation actually went well. So I gathered my thoughts and I was like, you know what? I only have one option here, right? Like, that. there really is only one answer. I got to drop the location. So I said, I'm in Texas and I hit her with the Stephen A. Now, it is currently about 4 a.m. as I'm making this video pretty late so things could certainly change by the time this video is uploaded tomorrow or I guess technically uploaded later today after I wake up but as of now this was the end of our conversation but hold on there's a couple of positive signs here number one she actually followed me back you know so that's a, that's a big W right there I right? a step in the right direction and I did DM her nothing too crazy I didn't get too wild up in the DMs all right I literally just asked her if she was being serious or not you know more or less now she has not responded yet However, she hasn't tweeted in general since her last tweet to me. That was her last tweet of the day. So I think she might have just gone to bed. I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. You know, if this was just like a regular girl, I would assume that she's just joking. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, you know, she's just playing around. But I mean, this is kind of a special scenario. I got to follow through and make sure we know what's going on here, you know, for absolute certainty, right? But yeah, that is the current situation you know regardless of what happens I would like to think I have come out of this situation with at least a minor W you know y'all gotta let me have this one man all right I tried my best if I do have any updates on the situation I will let y'all know on Twitter maybe I'll leave a comment as well but definitely check Twitter uh, anyways that's it for the video thank you guys so much for watching be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed subscribe if you're not already follow me on Twitter links in the description down below other than that have a good day and peace Peace out. Yeah, I can never ever find the right words. And there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you're the right girl. So I can only say that it feels right. It feels right. It feels right. Yeah, I can only say that it feels right. It feels right. It feels right. Yeah, I can only say that it feels right.